Despite proposed changes to the tax system, the value of turtles, and it continues to rise. What the heck is going on? I'm crossing my fingers that you can break the switch. Take advantage of all the Terra Luna Classic has to offer by signing up. However, Terra was a peculiarity at the epicenter of the 2022 crypto market meltdown, and it did not fare well. But now that a different team is working on Terra Luna Classic, a lot of changes have been made for the better. And it's not like we're all on the same team, which is a big plus for the game. Several current events, in my opinion, will be beneficial to Terra Luna Classic in the long run. That's one of the best parts about it. The future of Terra Luna is completely unpredictable because there are so many potential outcomes, up to a record high of $120. It's changing its behavior now. We can make use of the new proposal from Terra's study on adjusting the tax parameters. The idea calls for a levy and expenditure of taxes on chain operations. The ship army's long-standing wish has finally been granted. Hey, dudes, we could use a burn. Burning something down is necessary. It seems these programmers actually pay attention. Kim has also detailed some of the taxpayers' benefits and drawbacks. They're not just, oh, male spider coin, but the finest, period, right? To put it another way, you seem to want to possess it. No? They told the others, hey, check this out, it's quite neat. Taxes, you know, are kind of cool. Here, though, are the negatives and potential improvements. That's what real programmers look like. By the way, there is where it counts the most. At that point, where the developers are straightforward with you, is where I believe things will begin to shift. That's where it really counts in the cryptocurrency market. If this happened, the flattery pressure would increase and the classic would be conducted in US dollars. Kim also brings up the short-term catalyst that may bring in new retail investors. Finally, a burn off chain will not be taken into account by centralized exchanges until it is implemented on chain. Kim acknowledges that taxes have a negative impact on economic activity and utility in the long run. Big tax is done, but existing apps that do not take taxes into account won't be discontinued anytime soon. In other words, if an exchange doesn't accept taxes, it won't accept the transaction. Indeed, finance is the pioneer in this regard. Try to deduce the meaning of the most significant conversation. In that case, we will truly burn it if that's what you all want to do. It's possible that the proposed levy is driving what little liquidity there is away from the blockchain and into centralized exchanges that impose no such tax. That's the most interesting development of the week, I guess. People are still talking about the fires, however. Things are in flux. Many changes have occurred in them. The birds are what genuinely make a difference in this situation, so where it goes from here is crucial. This is exactly what we're experiencing at the moment. When compared to other coins, Turner Classic stands out because to the birds. Both the burn and the people involved in it are crucial to its significance. And that's the major point. The backing of a major project, or one of the largest centralized exchanges, like Binance's, is what makes a coin great. What I love most about Carolina Classic is that it always brings out the craziest in people, and I have a feeling that this year will be no exception. One of the major players' endorsement may mean significant things. The Foundation will also be backing this initiative. The major draw isn't taxes, but rather the fact that it already is a developer. You know, there's certainly more to it than that. When something is entirely shattered, it demonstrates that you have achieved something. Anything can be remade or reconstructed. Do you agree that's fantastic? However, please share your thoughts in the comments section below. When we're in action, I'll make sure to keep you posted until we meet again. Do a number on everybody.